Stephen Mackey asks, I don't know if you've got an answer for this, actually, but I'll ask it anyway. Hi, Dutch. Were you aware of an issue that John Cena had with Alex Riley when you were in WWE? The Dirt Sheets reported at the time that Alex Riley lost his push because he reacted badly to a rib Cena pulled on him around 2012. I thought that Alex Riley had the it factor and was a future world champion. He was over after turning babyface on The Miz, but it seemed that after the storyline, WWE didn't know what to do with him. And apparently, Alex, in a later interview, has basically confirmed that an interaction with Cena sort of saw the end of his uh, career on top. Do you remember anything about the Cena Alex Riley thing? What year, what year was this? Twenty twelve. This was Alex Riley was in the company another year while you were there, so you shared a small time crossover at that point. I heard about it. I think he remember earlier. I was talking that it doesn't take a lot to lose your push, not with Vince. Not with him in charge. It could be anything. So Cena probably didn't like Alex Wright was his name. Riley. Alex Riley. So he probably just went and poured his heart out to Vince. Well, we can fix that. They just didn't didn't tell Riley nothing and just stopped pushing him. And probably... I don't know if it's true. I, I, Alex Riley will never know if it's true or not. But his his uh, thesis on it, or his final thought on it, is probably true. Because I've seen it done, and I think it was done in this case. Do you know of any other Cena power plays around this time? Because I think Jake Hager has said similar. I think uh, Wade Barrett had said similar about Cena, that he would uh, do the odd power play to make himself strong at the oh, yeah, he of did. younger talent. Do you know anyone specifically? I don't, I don't know anybody specifically, but I, you know, if he didn't want to work on TV against whoever, he would, he would complain and moan. See, he was, he was concerned with one thing and I don't blame him here. This is not a, a knock on John. But if he thinks, you know what we showed earlier, Harley Race beat me in three minutes? Well, I brought it up, and guess what was done about it? Zero. But John Cena would just flat out tell him, I'm not doing it. I am not doing it. So I could have done that too, but I could probably been out of a job the next week. Uh, but if Cena didn't want to do it, or if he didn't like how – I've seen them see the writers would come up with like to finish how they wanted it to end. And they wouldn't come up with the exact, uh, like mode or method they want to use. But they say he makes this big comeback and all of a sudden do this and this and this. And then we need something to stop him or slow down. And that's when the talent comes in. And town said, Oh, well, he can throw a drop kick. I could get out of the way. That's good. That's good. And you work it out, but if if they worked it out before Cena got on the scene, well, he's going to change it all. He didn't like this. He didn't like that. And But in defense of John, he knew he was going to draw money, so he didn't want anything to make him look bad. And if if you could beat him down enough to leave him laying – that means he respected you and he saw money with you. Say the Rock could just beat him up and leave him laying. Well, he could do that because Rock's a top guy. Or Roman Reigns is a top guy. But anybody else? No. We need to. He'd say, I think we need to rethink that. <laughs> I, know, I know I know. there's no names that are coming to you specifically, but that's something you've seen Cena personally do. Say, nope, not happening or change it. Have I seen him do that? Yeah. No, I've never seen him do it. Because this is all behind, see, behind that dressing room door is secrecy. Unless the guy that was in the meeting tells you himself, and he will tell very few people if he tells anybody at all. And it starts with, say, John pulling the rider. And he's, I think he had the same rider as Rock did, Gerwitz. They could pull him back there, and it's their business to straighten it out. 
and it's Gerwitz's business to keep it running smoothly. So he's trying to smooth out the edges. But unless they tell you something happens, you have no idea. How does it fil- how does it filter out then to you guys? Is Say it what just, now? How does it filter down to the locker room then? Is it just you know like it happens to somebody in the locker room? Someone complains and then it spreads from there. How do we know? Yeah. Oh, it hit it. It'll leak somewhere. It may not leak that night, but it hit a leak within the next week or so. But who's going to go up and say, John, did you do this? Nobody's going to do that. So what it is, the rumor, and I may be getting the, the rumor, the exaggerated rumor, the rumor grows on its own because nobody has a, a, ever actually went to the source, say Gerwitz or, or Cena, and ask him. I know that you, I know you never talked about it with Jake, but you should ask him one day because he said on interviews before that he wasn't ever seen as biggest fan. We're going to ask a couple more, then we're going to shut down this podcast. Jalen Maldonado. Why wasn't, why wasn't he seen as biggest fan? I believe say? I believe it's another Cena creative power play. That, no, it is a power play, and he's you know he's he's going he was going to Hollywood. He's going to do this. He was going to do that. I listen. I don't blame him. I really don't, because he probably made, he had some six or seven or eight, $10 million years there. Mm. So it don't take that many years to to really get you straight. So 